So, today is the 29th of May 2019 and I went to Bristol Royal Infirmary or BRI, yes. And I went on the train and I went with my nan and it was so fun as you just saw from those little vlog clips. And um, yeah, today was very eventful. I had an x-ray of my hips. Um, didn't actually see what the photo looked like, but I know I had an x-ray done. Had to wear like a hospital gown. Then I, or well, after that, was, we found out I had to do an x-ray, then I went there, then I came back. And then I sat and waited for like a few minutes and it was like, Madeline Munden. And it was like, oh, here we go. So then I get like called through to this room and then they examine me and observe me. And after all of that, they have decided, or rather, they have said to me that my, like, type of cerebral palsy, I've been waiting 17 years for this, guys, 17 years, my type of cerebral palsy is asymmetrical spastic diplegia with upper involvement on the left side aka my left arm is also affected as well as my legs i never knew that i never knew that oh my god i never knew that my left arm was affected by it until today so just to repeat that for those in the back <laughs> I'm so happy with this. Honestly, I've waited so many years for this piece of information. Right. My um, cerebral palsy is asymmetrical. So that means not symmetrical. Spastic diplegia, which means my legs and spasticity. So tight muscles, my legs, tight muscles. Asymmetrical, meaning different on either side. Um... So much cool. It's on each side. The left side is weaker than my right side. Um, and upper limb involvement on the left side. So my left arm is affected by cerebral palsy. So, one more time. Because I'm so excited. Because I've been waiting so long for this, guys. Oh my god, I could cry. My cerebral palsy is asymmetric. Spastic the pleasure with upper involvement on the left side Eek! I love it I'm just guys you will not even begin to know how amazing it feels to have like words to put to what you're saying because for so many years of my life I've basically just been saying cerebral palsy bad legs cerebral palsy bad legs and now I actually have like words to put to like what my body is doing and like what my body is like describing my cerebral palsy to people it'll make it so much easier for me healthcare wise so much easier to explain things people can't like question me as much it's such it's honestly incredible it's honestly incredible it's actually incredible and also I finally have an example for why I'm always hungry and tired out a lot and out of breath and stuff so an average person um doesn't have any like medical condition or anything so like an average person is carrying one shopping bag right a bag full of shopping to my body and the effort my body goes through a doctor said this to me by the way to my body and the effort my body's going through that is the equivalent to my body one shopping bag of free shopping bags so the effort you take to lift one shopping bag to my body that is the equivalent of free shopping bags worth of effort does that make sense um so that's why i'm always so tired out I'm in pain because my body is literally like uh, uh, ah. <laughs> like your your effort Mine's like three times as much, essentially. Three shopping bags as much. <laughs> That's an example. But like, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm in love with this hat. Oh my God, do I suit it? I think I do. Um, 
thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to Become Medal to join our quest for madness. I'm Madal Adamund and I never say that. Oh, my hair didn't move. I never say that. And until next time, I have cerebral palsy, which is, my type is asymmetrical spastic the pleasure with upper involvement on the left side. Have a lovely day. Oh my god, oh my god, one more thing. I almost forgot this and it's like, I can finally explain something to you guys. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I can do this. This is on my left side, so this will make a lot of sense now. I can do this on my left hand, right? If you didn't know. So see my finger, right? This is my finger. I can do this. Oh, wow, wow. Guess what? He explained this to me because I asked. Basically, in my finger, right, so in, in your finger you have two tendons, is how he's explaining it to me. You have, a ten you have tendons in your finger, right? So, in an average person, they only have control of, like, one as one. So, they only have control as one movement. However, I have, like, double control if that makes sense. So like my finger, essentially, I can do this because I have better control of my tendons uh, on just one finger. Literally the rest of them are like, and then this one's just like, ha, I'm better than all of you. <laughs> no, it's just an ab, it's just abnormal. It's just CP. It's on my left side as well because my left arm is affected. I never, I can finally, like, acknowledge you as part of the gang. As part of the gang. Welcome. My legs are affected and my left arm. Don't forget about the left arm. How dare you? <laughs> but yeah, that's all. Bye.